Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we're going to talk about the classroom dashboard assignments and reporting upgrades from the instructor's point of view. So we're going to go ahead up to the top of our website and we're going to click on classes and I'm on the member site and it's going to take me to the classroom dashboard again. If you don't see your name at the top as an instructor just go to the switch dashboard view and choose instructor. From here in My Classes widget, again if you don't have the My Classes widget, speak with your administrator and ask them to put that widget on your instructor's dashboard. We're going to click on a class, Chemistry, and then we're going to scroll down to the assignments. So we do have a, a few new upgrades here under assignments when you add a new assignment. So when you add a new assignment, I'm going to go ahead and um, put in a, a test, test module 1. and I'm going to choose the category as tests, possible points, and with a due date. So let's put a due date in here at the beginning of school. I can hit save which will take me back to my class homepage. I can hit save and duplicate which will bring this form up again and I can put in another assignment. Or I can save it and add resources here. So Right now you don't see any other tabs up here as you're adding it, but we've given you this new button here. So if I click save and add resources, it will take you to the test module one add resources here. So this is where I can browse my computer and I can add a resource. Um, so maybe this is a video that I want them to see and then I would either provide a URL or I would browse my computer. I don't know if I can do it by hitting save. No, it's going to ask for something. So I will browse my computer. And I'm just going to put a document in there for now. But we'll pretend that that is a video or something. So we're going to save. And after we hit save, it takes us over to our assignment that we're currently working on to our resource tab. OK. Um, if you want to know more about duplicating classes, you can look at our original YouTube video titled Classroom Dashboard Assignments for Instructors. So I'm going to take you back to the um, assignments and homework. And the next thing I want to show you here is in regard to the assignments, the grades, the status, and notes for your class. So we have given you the opportunity now to update your assignment grades, your assignment statuses, or your assignment notes two different ways. You can do it by an assignment. So if I clicked on lab point one, I can come in here under student submissions and I can update my students for that assignment. Or I can take you per student. So if I wanted to look at Ricky Ball's assignments and I wanted to update all of his assignments, I can go to Ricky Ball and here I will see the student assignments for Ricky Ball. So all of my assignments for the class are listed all together and here I can update the status, I can give feedback, I can make notes, or I can enter their grades. So this is by student and the page prior to that was by an assignment. So again I'll show you real quick how to get there from assignments. We click on the assignment under student submission and we can do per assignment or if we click on the student's name here Ricky Ball it will take him or take you to his student assignments for the year. Now if I go and take you up to the icon grades and reports we've done a few things here for you. You can again click on a student from this page and it will take you to the assignments just where we were before. I'm going to go back a page here. But here we can see now assignments graded and we're telling you that Ricky out of four assignments that this instructor has put into the system, two of those assignments have been graded and he does not have any missing ones. So our assignments graded, what the, it's doing is it's pulling from the total amount of assignments and how many you as a teacher have graded. So if you look at that and you see, okay, wait, I know I have all of his assignments. You can actually go into Ricky's assignments and you can continue adding assignments. 
but maybe he did not do lab 1.1. So you can mark that as missing. When you mark an assignment as missing, it automatically puts a zero in the points earned. That's a new feature we just added. So now if I go back to grades and reports, I can see out of four assignments, I have graded three of them because a missing counts as a graded assignment. But because it's missing, it's now telling you that there's one missing assignment. So here, Franklin Brown, there are none graded. So that tells me one of two things. Either I'm missing an assignment for him, or I personally, as an instructor, have not put in his grade. So I can click on Franklin, and I can go through the assignments, go through my paperwork, and add his points, or mark him as missing. The other thing that uh, we have upgraded is part of our grades and reports. So I'm going to go ahead into my grade and report icon and I'm going to print out or download Ricky Ball's report. So let's do that. And we'll open it up in Adobe. All right, so here's his PDF. So we had overall performance on the reports with a cumulative grade and then if you wanted to break it down into categories it would break down into categories but what we've added is a period performance we've added an academic year on the administrative side so if you do not see a period performance and your group does semesters or quarters or trimesters then speak with your administrator and ask them to set up the academic year there is a video out there for them to watch to show them how to do that and then once that's set up you don't have to do anything you're just putting in your grades according to the dates and then our system will pull out the first semester second semester these are called periods so our system will pull out the periods and they will put them on the report card for the student if you have any further questions please contact your administrator of your website thank you